I was doing my friend's design just instead of doing a, a, a weekend haul, a little doggy. And, uh, I'm a little, I'm a day late filming this. This is actually the fifth. I couldn't film you. I wasn't going to film yesterday. So, first off, I'm the Target next to my work. We got the Chase Jeff Hardy. Which I'm not keeping this is actually going to a buddy of mine, so that's going over there. I also got Zelina Vega, who just returned to the WWE, which I was very happy because I was I did like her. You know what that so he says always gotta be in his camera. Uh from Local GameStop picked up Master of the Universe Shira Funko Pop and Megatron Funko Pop. These guys go over here for right now. Way on into looking like a warehouse around here. Uh Buddy that the uh, Jeff Hardy is going to the Garlander hooked me up with a uh, Scorponok from Transformers Kingdom and Venomized Captain America. So those are cool. On two different targets, I also picked up Just Sleep Flash. And just as Lee Cyborg. And my friend Monty hooked me up with this. Set, which is a, a Soundwave Spy Patrol 3. The third unit. This is actually the guys that's supposed to go with double dealers, so put that over there. Put this here. Put that there. Put that there. Also from the target by my work. I picked up Never Any Story Two Film Collection. Never cared for the second one. Despised it. So I'm probably going to have to sit there and watch it just to validate my dislike of it. But the first Never Ending Story, definite classic. Love that movie. Uh, I'll do these first. No, I'll do those last. As far as this week's comics, we have Giant Size Amazing Spider-Man number one. Uh, Black Cat Annual number one. Transformers Beast Wars number five. Black Knight number four. Cable number 11, X Factor number 10, and Transformers My Little Pony number 30. Yeah, Transformers My Little Pony, uh, whatever. It's Transformers and it's any. I haven't read this one yet. I'm a little behind on my books. But I enjoyed the first one, it was cute. Speaking of, one of my favorite artists is Frank Cho. He did University Squared, he did Liberty Meadows, uh, he did a ton of work for Marvel, Mighty Avengers, Savage Wolverine. 
Uh, he did some excellent stuff. And he's done a lot of Marvel. He did. He used to do all the Harley Quinn DC covers. I have a bunch of them, like his covers. Uh, I met him a couple of years ago at City Comic Con. Got him to sign a couple of my books for. Him. It was a great reason. Great meeting him. And my mom likes Liberty Meadows because there's dachshunds in it and we have dachshunds. You just saw the beginning of the video. If you haven't been watching my videos. But local comic shop had these. So I had to pick them up. They gave me a good deal. Liberty Meadows Volume 1. So there's the back. Volume 2. First one was Book 1, Eden. Book 2 is Creature Comfort. These are basically like trade paperbacks. Summer of Love. They all have the same back, by the way. And Volume 4, Cold, Cold Heart. That's got to turn back to it, though. I think this is one of the... I think there's like one more book after this, and that would be the whole series. So I'm gonna try to hunt down book five. I cannot start, I cannot wait to read these. I'm probably gonna wait till I go on vacation next week and just spend the day sitting down reading Liberty Meadows, which is one of my all time favorite books. There's the stories that's all in black and white. These were part of the they were in comic book form, but they were also in the newspapers, in the funny pages. We used to read weekly newspapers and the Sunday funnies. These were on there. I'm very happy about this. Uh, I think that's it. That's the video. I hope everybody had a good 4th of July. Uh, even if you're out of in other countries, I hope it was a good weekend for you. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. Like, share, subscribe, whack that bell for notifications. And just remember to keep hitting those toy aisles. I'll see you guys next time. Later.